Well, so much of later literature, so much of what later generations find moving, um, most tragic, uh, most inspiring about warfare, it's already there somehow or other in the Iliad. Um, sometimes people think of it as a, a crudely masculine poem glorifying warfare. In a way, there is that. There's a bit of that. Uh, certainly there's a feeling that glory is what these people are, uh, or should be, fighting for. Uh, but there's so much of the, the tragedy of war as well. Um, and so often that's seen through, through women. It's seen through Andromache. It's seen through Hector's wife. Uh, it's seen through that marriage that's going to be destroyed, it, even more callously, the, the, the small son who's going to be thrown from the battlements. Um, things seem to start from women. The Trojan War starts from a, uh, with a woman, with Helen. It's, this episode in the Iliad starts with a woman. It's um, Agamemnon's uh, girl, Chryseus, who's taken away. It's a a Achilles' girl, Briseis, who's taken by Agamemnon to make up for it. Um, which looks as if it's a, a typical male stratagem, doesn't it? Women's places in the wrong, always blame the women. But it's actually because the male take over, it's male pride that escalates, that means it's also tragic. But it comes back to the women as well. Um, it's what it means to women, to home life, uh, that makes it so desperately moving. So what's at stake in warfare, what's lost as well as what's gained, is, is so much already there. And one thing that always strikes me is the way that um, well, Achilles is such a fascinating figure there um, because um, Achilles is so special. Um, uh, he's the best fighter, he's the fastest runner, uh, he's the sort of person there's never any great danger that he's going to be outfought uh, by an enemy. In fact, eventually. He, of course, does die, but that's because Paris managed to shoot him in the one part of his anatomy which was not, which was vulnerable. A story not told in the Iliad itself, but perhaps we can see his death. We certainly see his death is coming. Um, uh, and yet it's Achilles that uh, is so often the figure that people think of uh, when they're trying to relate to so many issues of warfare, of heroism. First World War poets uh, stand in the trench, Achilles, flame capped and shout for me, is Shaw Stewart's poem. Uh, and how could you relate to Achilles, who is so, so much, uh, so different from your ordinary soldier in the First World War trenches, who has the perpetual danger that they're going to be outfought? Um, and there's something more because um, Achilles knows, he knows what's at stake. He's been told by his goddess mother. And of course, the fact that goddess is a mother is very important in explaining this superior strength. But his goddess mother has told him that he's got a, a choice of two fates, that if he stays, he will win everlasting glory, but he will die young. If he goes home, he will live out but a long but inglorious life. And your ordinary soldier does not know that. Um, there's a perpetual danger. You may win no glory at all. You'll just die in the trenches tomorrow. Um, but in a way, that doesn't fundamentally change the dilemma, I suppose. Um, Achilles may know that he'll get glory um, if he stays and will get a long life if he goes home. Your ordinary soldier may hope to get some glory and may fear death and may hope to get a long life if he goes home, but he doesn't know. He just has the chance of all that. Uh, the same Shaw Stewart poem from the First World War, Thou knewest, and I know not, so much the luckier I. I think that difference between firm knowledge and um, just hoping and fearing, it may not change the dilemma, but it just sharpens it, as it were. Uh, but it's still a choice, the choice between Facing the danger, staying here where you belong, and the hope for glory, and just the, the perpetual coward's alternative of running away and going home. It's a version of that, and Achilles just enables you to see that in its sharpest possible form. It's the, the clarity of extremes, if you like.